Taiwan's recent Me Too movement, sparked by a Netflix show, has taken the island by storm after sweeping through politics and academia to the entertainment world. It has prompted many victims to come forward and speak about their sexual harassment experiences. And now even the legislature is looking into amend the law to provide more protection to the victims. Victoria Jen reports. Thirty-one-year-old Jenny Chen was having a work discussion with her male colleague this March when he suddenly brushed through her hair intimately. Shocked, she ran away immediately, but the interpreter didn't file a complaint. Instead, she kept silent because she feared that it might cost her her job. Since the incident, Jenny has tried to avoid the man, including making any eye contact. But with the recent Me Too movement sweeping across Taiwan, she thinks attitudes now have changed. Taiwan's ongoing Me Too movement started in May. This, after a female staffer from the ruling Democratic Progressive Party, disclosed on social media how her supervisor rebuffed her sexual harassment complaint. Her post quickly went viral, which later forced the supervisor to resign. And Vice President William Lai subsequently made a public apology. Soon, the movement spread across the Taiwanese society, engulfing professors, doctors and celebrities, some of whom quit their jobs subsequently. A leading women rights group says they've seen a tenfold increase in sexual harassment complaints since the movement started. Prior to this, a survey by the Labor Ministry showed that as many as 80 percent of those who experienced sexual harassment in the workplace chose not to file a complaint. So 台湾 is seen as one of the most progressive democracies in Asia. But activists said the recent spat of Me Too cases shows that gender inequality remains a problem that's due to a culture prone to victim blaming, though things are now changing. 但是在这波报导有很快说哦原来可能不是只有我原来有这么多人那我想这个部分是打破这个沉默跟孤立这个是会让我觉得是让台湾的一个社会比较能够去认真的去看待是哇原来性暴力确实是无所不在的让这个被